garden on? Nine Acre Family Farms, they say, farm on. I'm saying, garden on. Farming sounds much tougher though. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger, thanks for stopping by today. Always, always, always appreciate your visits. So we're looking today at the garden beds that we have, that we have spruced up. And I don't mean spruced up as in we're going in and amending the soil and that kind of thing. Spruced up as in some of them have fallen apart. <laughs> the hard freeze hit everything, including the foundation of the garden beds so we're trying to go through and each year we learn a little bit more about what grows well in this sun exposure what grows well in this shade the morning shade and the afternoon hard sun um, in where we're at you wherever you are you just have to learn by trial and error where to put things in your yard. Placement is everything as far as, is it gonna end up getting afternoon sun scald? Is it going to flourish well in that uh, afternoon scalding heat? Um, you just never know and it's just through trial and error of moving things that you learn that. So we have a couple of beds. Uh, we had a couple of beds down by the creek and we move those because <laughs> we have some very fun stuff going on here. So we try to make use of everything and then we try to make it fun at the same time. So, uh, and you know, unusual or stable as much as it can be. So I'm gonna show you um, what we built. It's, it's so amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go see some pictures.
was exciting, wasn't it? Um, I, I used to love to play with Lincoln Logs. Um, I, just, I don't know. It's just one of those old, and to this day, whoa, to this day, if I buy a Christmas present for a younger child, um, you know, just building Lincoln Logs, I always thought it was so much fun. Maybe, maybe some people don't, but I did. So I always try to buy kids Lincoln Logs and take it back old school, the old fun toys. Um, anyways, so we had that bed that we built. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun down there. There is going to be, uh, it's huge, obviously. The center of it is going to be a walkway. And then either side, uh, I'm going to plant rows going this way. So I should take you down there and show that. Yeah, I think I'll take you down there. So here we are down here. So, as you can see, well, you may not be able to see, right in the center there, uh, I can't get my hand to go, okay, there, that's going to be a walkway, and then there's going to be rows this side going this way, and then the same on the other side. Look how pretty it is in the morning down here. It almost looks like a nature walk. There's the creek and the panels on the creek that we are going to this year. I believe we have decided that we are going to plant cucumbers there and see how they do this year. All right, so there it is up there. <laughs> There's the ending shot. I love this thing. It's gonna be amazing. It gets nice, good sun in the morning. It's gonna get some wonderful afternoon sun and then it sets here and you see all these tall pines. So I won't get a lot of sun scald or scorch on whatever plants I put down here. Um, and, and that is important because that afternoon sun is what can really break your pepper plants. Some tomato plants too, but primarily the pepper plants it, whatever side is facing that afternoon harsh sun usually gets a whole dark side and gets sun scald and sunburnt, just like we do if we stay out in the sun too long. <laughs> Anyways, this I feel like is such a good use of all the trees that Joey cut down. It's just, it's amazing and uh, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> so I'm glad you came down or came along. Uh, to join me coming down here and taking a look at that. I'm looking around and I see dandelions are dandelions are blooming. That's awesome. We are going to have 30 degree weather in a uh, nights that are 30 degrees in like four days. So that's probably going to kill a lot of this off. <laughs> okay, let's go back up. I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, we had two beds down here. I'll show you one of them. Okay, so it was in here, um, there was two of them, and there it is. We just picked it up, put it on the outside here, and I'm going to plant for sure marigolds in there, I think some nadstroms, uh, I'm not sure what else I'm going to plant, but it's going to be flowers to bring the pollinators to the garden, which is very important. Sorry, we're teetering here. <laughs> Okay, there's another good shot. I got sun in my eye, but there you go. There is the Lincoln Log Garden Bed. And if I didn't say it, it is approximately 20 foot long uh, and 15 foot wide. So, it's going to be a big bed. Food is, uh, growing your own food is going to be important this year if you um, have a garden or if you want to do a garden. It's going to be pretty important. Um, yeah, I think it's it's a, a must. So, showed you the one skinny little bed that we took out from down here. There was another one, and we put it up in front of where we park. We have a big uh, uh, gravel area up there, and we put that in front of there. And this morning, I went and got some hay because I'm going to plant flowers in there as well. I think I'm going to do 
some sunflowers, and maybe some daisies, some Shasta daisies. Wouldn't that be awesome? A couple of years ago, I had gotten about 10 bales of straw, and I conditioned them real good, and I actually planted plants directly in those. That is my idea for the second runner bed. All right, guys, so that's it for us here today at Not For Nothing Homestead. Take care of you and yours. God bless, and we'll see you in our next video. <laughs> Garden on! <laughs> Nine Acre Family Farms, they say, farm on. I'm saying, garden on! Farming sounds much tougher, though. <laughs> Bye, guys.